to really understand um, you know, when someone may be struggling with a substance use disorder or addiction, first and foremost recognize that we all have power in this equation. We can rethink and reframe this in, this, in the lens of compassion and humanity. The utilization or the relationship of alcohol and drugs that leads to consequences and impacts someone's life, that could be framed as an individual that may be suffering from a substance use disorder. You know, if you break it down into three domains of behavioral, emotional, and physical, um, there are components that may be recognizable. You may have somebody that is dealing with changes in their mood, the troubles with work or school, connections with family, relationships, physical consequences. It could be an array of different uh, things that happen depending on the substance that's being utilized. You know, there is environmental factors as well. Being around access to alcohol and drugs can play a big role in someone's journey towards recovery. We have to have these conversations to really understand what struggles our loved ones are going through, understand how they're coping with those struggles, and if alcohol and drugs uh, is part of that relationship of coping, how we approach this has to come with compassion and understanding. That's where we're gonna be better off in supporting the, our loved ones that are struggling with this disease process. Stigma can be debilitating. Knowing that others may shame you, may isolate you, may ostracize you for a health condition that you're dealing with, um, it's paralyzing. Where do you turn for help when pretty much everywhere you turn for help is shutting you down? Family members as well suffer through this process of stigma because it also debilitates their process of reaching out for support. Our language is, is one of the key players in stigma. The same way I wouldn't want someone to call a loved one a diabetic, because they're a lot more than diabetes. And the same way we don't talk about patients that are suffering from cancer carcinogenic, um, we talk about them having cancer or them having diabetes. Same here, someone with a substance use disorder, as opposed to saying that's an addict. There are a lot of misnomers about addiction care out there. The misnomers are that only rehab and detox exist that you have to either use drugs or not use drugs, drink or not drink. But things are usually not so black and white. Harm reduction strategies play a role in this. Abstinence does play a role, but also just the reduction of use plays a role. So someone could be successful on their journey towards well-being. With opioid use disorder, alcohol use disorder, and other substance use disorders, there are medications that are available, but the beauty of the resources that are available is that they can be tailored to the individual's motivations, their willingness, their readiness, tailored to what the family needs are. For some, it may include therapy, group therapy, behavioral change, as well as for some, it may also include medications. If you have a family member that's suffering with a substance use disorder, New York State has a website. It's the New York State uh, Office of Alcohol and Substance Use Services, OASIS. Insurance companies are also a good place to start to understand what is in network, what's not in network. But even picking up the phone, calling Northwell, you know, asking, um, where can I connect for care? We have five hubs for addiction treatment and care and support, a wide geography that allows New Yorkers to access care. But beyond Northwell, there's community-based organizations almost in every single community that offer some level of care or treatment for someone dealing with a substance use disorder. A great starting point is an outpatient facility. A great continuation point is an outpatient facility because this is a lifelong journey. And the best that we could do as healthcare professionals for our communities is to better announce and shout out what resources are available for someone that's dealing with a substance use disorder.